E4 Adventure Films is going to talk about our onboard power. So we went ahead and put in an RV battery here. We went ahead and put in a breaker junction here. Uh, there's also a, a NOCO smart charger there, a 10 amp smart charger, which I punched in through the wall into an outside port that I'll show in a second here. Okay, and here is the port that goes all the way through the trailer. And so when I plug this in, this just is hooked right up to that charger that is charging the battery as we speak. It's an automatic float charger, so I can just leave it plugged in all the time. And it takes care of all of our charging and battery maintenance needs. So the trailer is always ready to go. A little nerve wracking punching a hole in the side of your trailer, but worth it, worth it. Um, and then we're wiring everything off of that Deep Cycle Marine RV battery to this inverter. And this inverter is a 2000 watt inverter that then powers uh, all the electrical items on the trailer. Um, it does have this control panel, which you can hit here, which is nice because it's got a battery gauge and all that good stuff. And then also when you wake it up, it wakes up the inverter. The inverter has a nice little panel here with all the additional information we might want to know, what load we're under, uh, percentage remaining, voltage, etc., which is handy dandy. Then I went ahead and installed this reel as well. And then this reel swings out and this goes, I think it's 25, 30 feet, uh, which is nice. So if we're working on something outside of the trailer, uh, like we have a bike on a bike stand or what have you, we can run power out to it, uh, which is pretty nice. So that's the electrical system. You can see the charger, the block, RV style battery in the container. Um, and again, the control panel for that. So uh, again, nice little sub facet of the project. Onboard power is really, really important to us. We also power a cell phone charger, USB charger. Um, we ride with headsets, so we need to charge those occasionally. Uh, we also have a DeWalt battery charger for powering our DeWalt tools, like the fan here, for example, so we can charge that battery as needed. The blower that we use as a broom, work light, etc. cetera. Um, and again, uh, then we have, of course, random outlets, uh, and then an outlet above the workbench as well. So when we're working on the workbench, we have ready access to power right there as well. So that's the idea. So far, I've been really happy with this. Uh, inverter has been great, uh, works awesome. I've been able to <clears throat> hook up my air compressor to it. I've hooked up a shop vac to it. Uh, it's never even given me a hiccup. It just eats everything you throw at it. So, so far, so good. So there you go. That's the power infrastructure of the E4 Moto Trailer.